the uh, mission, the NASA's Boeing's crew flight test of the Boeing Starliner was scrubbed. After a day full of excitement shaping up to bring us a historic launch from the Cape, the Starliner test flight to the space station with two astronauts on board was scrubbed yet again, this time almost at the last minute. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aiken. Glad you're with us on this Saturday night. I was here with you at noon as we brought you live team coverage and then as NASA called off the launch, but nobody knew exactly why at the time. Both astronauts were strapped into their seats, looking skyward in that Boeing capsule at the top of the rocket and then the computer at the launch pad automatically stopped the countdown with just under four minutes to go. And tonight, NASA is still trying to figure out why. Why is this such a big deal, this test flight? Because it will only be the sixth time in U.S. history that we sent a new vehicle to space. New 6's James Barbero is at the Kennedy Space Center tonight with the latest. You could see today how close we are. We were three minutes and 56 seconds away. The closest Starliner has ever gotten to launching astronauts. Now we wait again for word from NASA and Boeing on when a third launch attempt could happen. Initially, after telling us about ULA's computer issue that scrubbed the launch Saturday, NASA said Sunday was on the table, but now they want more time to take a deeper dive into that issue. Here's Steve Stitch from NASA again, after the countdown was called off for a second time in a month. I know it's a little disappointing. We were all excited. And Butch and Sonny were excited to go fly. And there was excitement, because earlier in the countdown, they worked through technical issues that popped up including with the fans that circulate air in Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams' spacesuits. Back at the press conference, Mark Nappy with Boeing and Tori Bruno with ULA talked more about getting right back to work after another delay. I'd kind of use the analogy of sports. You know, when you're playing a game and you get a bad call, you know, you're a little irritated at first or a little frustrated at first, but you immediately focus on the next pitch. And that's what our teams do. The disappointment lasts for about three seconds, and we've been at this a long time, and then you just immediately get busy and do your job, and we'll be back. And while they won't be getting back on Sunday, there are launch opportunities on Wednesday and Thursday. As soon as either of those dates get confirmed, we'll update this story again on News 6 and ClickOrlando.com. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. And thank you, James, for sticking around for us there all day long. It wasn't just us space nerds who were disappointed by the scrub. Plenty of people traveled from near and far to get a glimpse of a launch that would have been history-making. New Six's Molly Reed talked to a family who came to Central Florida from the Rocky Mountains. So you guys came all the way from Colorado, unfortunately not seeing the launch today. What are you thinking right now? I'm a little disappointed. I mean, it would have been really cool to be able to experience this and be able to watch a rocket. I'm kind of sad because it would have been cool, but like last night we saw a launch. Oh, there you go. So we were at our hotel and we got to see it. But it would also have been cool to see like someone making history and like seeing a woman pilot, which would have been super cool. They know their stuff exactly right. Tonight, those two astronauts on board the Starliner who are ready to go are still at the Cape and in quarantine. They'll stay there either until the next launch attempt, which could come as soon as Wednesday, as James said, or until NASA announces another delay. As James said, we'll let you know as soon as we hear from NASA about that next launch date.